What is going on family? We are back in Kelowna. It feels like I have not been in Kelowna for like a decade now. We spent like three weeks in Florida, spent like a week and a half-ish in Toronto. As you guys saw in that last vlog, I think that was like my last like couple days there. But we're back now, back to my gym, back to my car, back to my kitchen, and it's just gonna make prepping a whole lot easier. So hoping to be home for the rest of this five and a half-ish weeks that we have left for prep, which is crazy to say prep is almost over. I need to get some more episodes out for this series. Lately, I just been feeling mentally drained, physically drained, and it's been really hard it's a vlog i can't lie anyway just ran to the grocery store right now i'm gonna show you guys what i got keeping it simple we picked up i think four cartons so we got about four kilograms of egg whites i've been going through these like crazy so i know this looks kind of crazy i'll probably go through all of these within like a week maybe a week and a half then we picked up zero fat greek yogurt that always comes in handy mix with this here. I don't know if you guys know that mix, but if you don't mix those two together, you pretty much got yourself like a nice healthy ice cream, zero fat, all protein, a little bit of carbs. I ain't got no family, but we picked up the family size California veggie blend. It has carrots, broccoli, cauliflower in there. That's about two kilograms of that. Honestly, I think I have some already. Yeah, I actually got a bit of veggies. I got veggies down there, but I went ahead and picked some of that up just in case I was running out. Last thing we picked up is something key, super essential. I find now I'm getting deep in my diet is mustard. I picked up two of these things, just stocking up. I go through this like crazy. I dip cucumbers in it. Sometimes if I'm feeling nasty, I'll dip some pickles in there because all of those things are pretty much a zero calorie mix. I think having two cucumbers and mustard is like four carbs. So, I mean, it's pretty filling snack. That's exactly what you need this far into prep, to be honest. And the last thing I picked up was some mushrooms, which is like key. I put this in my egg whites. Sometimes I'll put peppers in there. I'm just stocking up on everything. I'm trying not to go to the grocery too many times a week. So I'm buying everything bulk now so hopefully i can go to the grocery store once a week i feel like since i've been back i've been running in and out of the grocery store so try to pick up a bunch of stuff now hopefully this lasts me the next week probably won't with my appetite but we'll see it is now 5 44 i have already had one meal today i'll put up on the screen what i did have something like a uh, piece of toast with an egg and a little bit of cheese on top i haven't really ate too much today i'm about to cook up some egg whites big shocker probably throw some peppers in there Probably throw a little cheese on top since I got a little bit of fat left and uh, we're gonna smash that. I'm super excited. So let's get this meal going. Bruh. This is the final product. We got about 400 grams of egg whites, one whole egg, 200 grams of mushrooms, 100 grams of peppers, and we got two chocolate rice cakes on top. Middle of the day, this is like one of my biggest meals of the day, so it is a little macro heavy. I knew when I was leaving the store, I was forgetting something, and that something was strawberry. I usually will have about 200 grams of strawberries with this meal, a lot of volume, but I gotta settle for the rice cakes right now because I messed up. It was on my grocery list too, so I don't know how I didn't pick those strawberries up. But anyway, go to smash this right now and then we're going to head to the gym. All right, so I actually requested a four to five day split from Pat uh, just because I was feeling exhausted with the split that we were doing volume wise. He wrote that up for me and the second leg day of the week is optional. So you know your boy is about to take the option today. I'm not gonna hit that second leg day this week. Save it for tomorrow's third upper day of the week. Put all my energy today into my cardio sesh. I have 60 minutes of list, six days a week right now, 30 minutes of list on that seventh day. So we're in the gym. And we're grinding every day we're still digging uh so yeah i'm about to go in right now and do this cardio session nothing that you guys really need to see so i thought i would just go ahead and do a short little talk about side effects it's something i've been wanting to bring up in the previous vlogs i haven't really got around to it here is a picture that i just threw up on my instagram story four to five weeks into the diet and this is what i'm looking like uh, a little over five weeks out from the diet i probably got like 40 to 50 replies on my story so obviously i'm having like different conversations about this picture one thing that people don't realize is there are side effects to getting shredded. It is not like a beach lean diet. It is like pretty hard on your body. The first and most important side effect I've noticed in like the last two to three weeks, is just energy level. Energy has been at an all time low. Some days it feels like it takes all my energy just to get up and do 
what I have to do around the house, whether that's making food or let alone going to the gym. Like energy just feels it's non-existent at times. Everything feels like it's in slow motion sometimes, or you just feel like really foggy in the head whenever you're doing stuff. So definitely something that I think most competitors could relate to at a certain point. I've been feeling that a lot in the last two weeks for sure. Uh, number two, I'm definitely gonna say it's gonna have to be mood overall mood and like irritation it's just shot also i'm the type of guy man i let a lot of things slide i'm not really a problematic type of guy i don't catch a lot of attitudes i don't really argue at all with anyone so i feel like this stage of prep things that usually wouldn't irritate me irritate me a hell of a lot more now and it's just like overall irritation is through the roof so honestly with that i just try to remember that it's not me or it's not the person that i feel like is irritating me it's pretty much just like me being hungry or me being so far into this diet and i just try not to take it out on the people around me but that's easier said than done when you're in the moment i would say number three which is pretty obvious it's just going to be overall hunger with being at this stage of leanness this far into prep my macros are very low around that upper 1500 range now so it's hard to stretch that out throughout the day throughout the clock just trying to stretch out 1500 calories you're going to be hungry at some point and at that point where you're hungriest you can't just smash a bunch of food because then there's going to be another point in the day where you're probably going to starve because you use up all your macros so overall just being hungry throughout the day i feel like it's definitely um a side effect my mental my mind is always thinking about the next meal on top of just like not having energy so those are just three side effects that i can name off the top of my head i feel like there's a lot of other things that kind of like come into play maybe i'll bring up in some later videos i don't want this talk to be too too long like i said it's just something that you're going to experience going throughout prep so yeah wrap that up i'm about to head in get this cardio done and then i'll check in with you guys at home so i did a poll on my instagram and it was regarding the new shirts that i have dropping pretty pretty soon most of the people said they want navy over gray i'm sampling both the last two samples are coming in within the next week so i have a video when i unpackage those and show you guys all the final touches on those but i think we are going to go with navy this drop is going to be limited as hell so if you do want something make sure you're on the site when it drops i'll announce it in the video i'll announce it on my page culture page it'll be more limited than previous shirts and all the previous shirts are gone so if you want something, just be on the site when it drops and you will be good. I am going to end the video right here. Just a short update vlog, settling back into being a Kelowna. More dope episodes coming in the next few videos. So if you guys are new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Bad days, there's a lot